G'day Dugger here. I've just been uh, building a fence. It was actually a really interesting project. I had no idea what I was doing at first. So I'm going to run you through the way that I've built it and uh, you can decide for yourself. Alright, eh? let's go fencing with Dugger. There's a vacant block beside my property that's been left unattended for years and years and years and it is just overgrown with chiny apple that's a really thorny pest tree that we get here in Townsville there's lots of lantana there's bellyache bush and a million other weeds that really shouldn't be there so I spent a week clearing this whole fence line believe you me that was one hell of a job Beautiful native gum tree here that was totally surrounded by weeds. They were just stifling the life out of it. So I've cleared them all away. And hopefully that gum tree will live in peace for a while. You can see the extent of the chiny apples along here. I was lucky enough to have a number of existing posts in the right spots in this yard. So these posts are well cemented in and not going anywhere. Line down here with some old star pickets, then placed in my new star pickets, banged them into the ground, tied the wires off at the end here, and then ran the wires down to the other end where I tensioned them up. So this is the other end of my fence. I just use these small fence strainers here. But I did use a chain horse to pull these wires through. Slopes can be really tricky, especially when you're pulling your bottom string tight over the top of one, as it has a tendency to rise up into the air, like this. So I'm going to have to take extra care when I finish this fence to make sure that this section here is nailed down into the ground. One of the trickier little problems that I had to solve was through this little gully here and fencing underneath the main line. So when it floods every year, this gully fills up. So I need to find a way to make it dog proof. Plus, let the water and all the rubbish that's going to wa wash through here. So what I did is I made this little gate on the bottom here. Drop it back down. Muppet's not really impressed with this fence at all. careful placement of your star pickets over your sloped ground, you can make sure that when you tension the fence, the wires don't start pulling your pickets out of the ground. Two really large dead old gum trees here. But they do have a purpose, the old logs. Old mate here has used this one for a fence post in the past. It was a bloody good fence post, it's still standing point in the fence is probably my biggest slope. So to ensure a good anchor, I've cemented one pole here in the middle. This fence is ready to hang dog mesh on it. Get used to life on that side of the fence, Muppet. Righto, time to get this fence finished. I'm just rolling out the dog mesh here. It's a little bit easier because I've got this big hill to come down. But it's also a bit difficult because I've got a bloody big tree in the road. My dog mesh, and that's attached to the poles. The last thing I have to do is take these little C clips and come along here. 
and tidy up the wires. Hold your wires together, push them through and crank them in. Two. And three. Getting a professional opinion from Muppet here. He thinks it's too good. Bad luck Muppet. So there you have it, my first fence. Done. It's been a cracker of a project and it's really satisfying. I'd just like to say a big thank you to my fencing guru and good mate, Mr. Fixit. Cheers, Adam.